Hey YouTube, it's Mitch and iPhone Captain. Today I'm going to show you a couple ways you can speed up the animation on your device. And the first one I'm going to show you is on the iPad. And it's called Speed Intensifier. Now this tweak has been around a long time. But, you know, a lot of people are always looking for different ways to increase the speed of their animation. We just had one last week released called Clockwind. If you, or Clockwind, if you didn't get a chance to check it out. You might want to hit that video up. I'll try to remember to put an annotation on the screen as well. But speed intensifier gives you from minus 10 slowest to plus 10 fastest down here. And you can figure that out yourself. You want to adjust it however you want. All right. Another one that you might want to consider using is called fake clock up. F-A-K-E. Fake. And what it does is pretty much the same thing. All right. And right there it is, fake clock up. And you can see your animation speeds range from 10 to 1 on it. Well, down to 1 tenth, I'm sorry, being the slowest. So you can adjust your animations however you want them on there. So there's three fast, easy ways to speed up your animations. Now guys, these do not increase your processing time speed any whatsoever. It only increases your animation speed. But it will make your device feel faster. So check it out if you can use Anyway, what this does, if you've ever run speed intensifier on your devices, you know that it how to in it increases your animation. Well, this tweak works the same way. And what it does, as you can see here when I open the phone, how fast it opens. I've got it turned up as high as it will go, as fast as it will go. And these applications are loading so fast because they're running in the background on my device. So that's referred to it as a multitask type app. So if we try to open something that I haven't already opened, say Twitter, you see it has to load. So it's not really increasing your speed, only the animation making it appear to be faster. So make sure you understand that. I mean, yes, it does cut down on some time, but it's nothing that your device is being affected in any way. It's only, it's only increasing the animation speed. So if you can cut down on the time it takes the animation to occur, yes, you're going to save time. But it's not technically increasing the speed of your device. So be sure you understand that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. It really helps me out. And don't forget, guys, to keep checking back here daily and keep coming back.